Okay, so Google has announced a new large language model, an open source one called Gemma. Comes in two sizes, two billion parameters and seven billion parameters. In fact, Google said it is the uh, model that they use to create Gemini, the much more bigger and much more powerful ones. But it's giving away for free these two models and you can try them today on your PC or of course, uh, up in the cloud. So we're gonna be using LM Studio and we're gonna be taking these models for a spin. So if you wanna find out more, please let me explain. Okay, so here we are inside of LM Studio. I do have other videos about LM Studio here on this channel. If you're not familiar with it, I'll leave a link in the description below. And I've loaded up the two billion parameter version. A Couple of things for context. Uh, it's a quantized version because it needs to be smaller. Uh, the actual two billion parameter model is actually 10 gigabytes in size. This one comes in at just a couple of gigabytes, uh, but it's less accurate, but it is smaller. And the other thing to note is that uh, a GPT, like ChatGPT 3, for example, 3.5 is 175 billion parameters. So there's a big scale of difference here in the size of the models and GPT-4 is way, way bigger even than that. And so we can't expect the same kind of things. However, we should expect something. So this is the idea. So as per normal, I've got some things I want to ask it and let's just see how it does. So the first one we've got here is create a list of five foods that are good for diabetics. Let's just let it churn away on that. Now, this is actually pretty fast. Okay, now notice that this is not, I haven't fast forwarded this video, that's pretty fast. When we come to the 7 billion parameter ones, you're going to notice they're much, much slower. It's got to process a lot more detail, and that's a good response. That's pretty good. Nothing wrong with that response. Let's move on to some tech. What is a C compiler? Okay, and so let's see if it knows some knowledge like that. So remember, this is always running on my laptop. Nothing's going up in the cloud. This is nothing going on the internet. Ah. This content does not mention anything about what a C compiler is, so I cannot answer this question from the provided context. Earlier on, it did actually tell me a little something about the C compiler. Here we go. I did regenerate, and it's come up. A compiler is a computer program that translates human readable code into a form that can be understood by a computer's processor. That's a better reply. It has done better than that before. No, it's not going to do that. Okay, it's just a rehash on that. Now, this is some of the problems you get with these smaller ones. Uh, they don't always give you an answer. And in fact, this idea that I don't know from the context comes up quite a lot. Who was Harold Bluetooth, for example? Every time I've tried this, it says, yeah, the context does not mention enough for me to give you an answer. Uh, in what year was King Henry VIII married to Catherine of Aragon, uh, again, it's going to say the same thing. It doesn't know. So you can see pretty quickly it runs out of knowledge, doesn't know what to tell you. OK, well, what about some tasks? Maybe if it doesn't have the knowledge, but maybe it can do things. So here I've got correct the spelling and grammar of the following text. He haven't been to Lundom to see Big Ben since he was a boys with a Z. Let's see whether it can correct that statement for us. Sure, here's a corrected version. He has not been to London to see Big Ben since he was a boy. Perfect. Absolutely wonderful. However, if I try it with a longer sentence, okay, so I've got one here. Correct the spelling and grammar of the following. The Orange River is one of the major rivers in South Africa, the longest with its border. The river does span an impressive 200 kilometers with the sea. Okay, let's see what it's doing here. It's one of the major, the longest with its border. The river does span, so it still doesn't fix that. An impressive, it put the K on kilometers, forming part of the international border of Africans. That was a, a, a snake. I put that in the original with an S on it. The river serves as a vital habitat for... So it, it did something. It fixed a few of the mistakes, but not very many. So you can see here the limits. I won't ask it any more questions because you can pretty much quickly see the limits that we're hitting. And if you start getting to anything more complicated, it, it doesn't really work. So now I'm going to load up the 7 billion parameter version. So I'm going to start by asking it who was Harold Bluetooth to see whether it can give us anything. Uh, Harold B.I. not implemented. 8th century known as English Harold Bluetooth is a legendary Danish warrior and king whose name has been preserved through the centuries. So that's giving us something, but you can see it, it's making some mistakes here. Uh, B.I. not implemented. That's obviously nonsense. No space there between Harold and Bluetooth. But the rest of the stuff, it looks like it's a reasonable kind of reply. So that is where you can start to see that the 7 billion parameter can do more but it's still got limitations. What about King Henry VIII? 
does it know about the history of when he married Catherine of Aragon? Now, I'll fast forward now because this is just taking too long. There you go. The text does not provide any information about that. So it can't answer. It can't answer that question. OK, let's see if it can correct our spelling mistakes uh, and grammar mistakes about the, the Orange River. So, again, I'll fast forward this if I think it's taking too long. So this is not as quick as the two billion parameter one. OK, so it's introduced some mistakes here. So it's uh, oh, no, didn't fix it. Africa. I put that mistake in there with two A's. Didn't fix that. Uh, that does span, didn't fix that. Uh, kilometers with a C, didn't fix that. In fact, it basically, it's done, it's done nothing to help that uh, whatsoever. So again, I'm not going to really ask it any more questions because, you know, well, let's ask it that one question, let, why not, about Star Wars, uh, which movie is the most uh, similar. I did this in my last video when I was comparing Gemini Pro to chat GPT, the following list of five movies, which one is the most similar to Star Wars Episode Four, Princess Bride, Father of the Bride, Planes, Trains and Automobiles and The Matrix. And there was a toss up last time between The Princess Bride uh, and uh, The Matrix. Uh, one because it was a science fiction, The Matrix, the other one because it was a journey uh, about a child and, and so on. So here we go. Uh, and look at that. Here's some corrected changes to the grammar. It's going on about the Orange River again. Now, I will say one thing. I've downloaded several different models because these are the quantized versions, as I mentioned, and there are several different models available on the Hugging Face page to download. And I do kind of get little bits of results. But in general, the 7 billion one parameter has seemed to have been giving me, in general, nonsense. You know, here again, it's just it's not even answering the question. Now, from the following list of movies, which one is most similar? So it's picked that up now and then it's just stopped. OK, so, you know, this is what I'm saying. Now, why am I saying that? Well, if we load up a different 7 billion parameter model, this time from Mistral, and I ask it our Harold Bluetooth question, let's see what we get. It's a bit quicker, so that came out pretty quick. Barold Hoover was Denmark king. He's best known for unifying the Danish tribes under a single kingdom in a rolling spread in Christianity in Scandinavia. His name Bluetooth is believed to come from a rune blade bearing the image of a Bluetooth or an oscill oscillator hmm, that was discovered at his burial site. And then it goes on like that. And the idea of why they use Bluetooth for your information as the technology is because it's good at uniting devices and he united the kingdom. So there you go. So this 7 billion parameter model knows a bit more. And let's just try our spelling and correction uh, task to see whether it can do anything about that and does a better job. So, uh, you know, the Google one, I will again do a caveat. These are models that have been quantized by users on the internet is not official from Google and I'm wondering whether there's been some errors in that translation process in that shrinking down of the file size because it's not doing very well compared to other ones. Okay so it's starting to correct it one of those South Africa got rid of that a the river spans that's correct that's the correct way of doing it. kilometers with the sea form part of the South Africa and Nibia. so there you go it's done much better so you know, some of these models, and even though we're running them locally, which is a great advantage because you don't have to pay, uh, you know, ChatGPT to use the API. You, this has got an API server built into it, by the way, and I've talked about this. So you can talk to this via an API server, which means you can write programs to talk to these models. And something like Mistral here was doing a really good job. Let's ask it the Star Wars movie, because that was the one that created uh, the most uh, interesting answers in that last video that I did. Let's see whether it can do anything in this video to help us with that. OK, so it's actually refused point blank to give us an answer. It said, well, here are what all those movies about. The Father of the Bride is a comedy about the preparation for a wedding and blah, 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 blah. And it goes on to explain to what Star Wars is. And it's saying I can't find any of the commonality between them. They go, maybe that is the right answer. That's an interesting one. Tell me what you think about that in the comments below. OK, okay that's it. My name's Gary Sims. This is the Gary Explains channel. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If you like these kind of videos, why not stick around by subscribing to the channel? Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.